So you talked about manning, training, and equipping, and you've talked about the importance of cyber. As Navy Cyber Forces transitions to the ID Forces TICOM, we're going to be doing some of that manning, training, equipping you were discussing, but it's broader than just cyber. Uh, what do you think our sailors need to know about what the rest of the IDC community can bring to the fleet? Sure. Well, as I mentioned before, we, we took a kind of a hesitation in 2009, and we said, you know, if you can control information in the future, you can kind of control at least the pace of battle in the future, and you can probably uh, control the outcome. So we said, all right, who, who controls information? Well, uh, oceanographers are weather people. That's called the METOC uh, people. We have information professionals to operate our networks. We have information warriors, cryptologists, and people that bring those programs in. And we have, of course, intelligence specialists. Why not bring all of the people that deal in information together and coordinate our efforts in that regard? That's the information dominance core. So the idea is to dominate information, you know? And so we brought that core together. I keep repeating the words, but it is, it is simple in concept. So now you're bringing sort of disparate organizations and saying, hey, we need you all to come together in a coordinated effort uh, and work to do the things we talked about before, make sure we are cyber safe, that we can get out into other networks, control our networks, know the difference between information and intelligence, just babble versus things that are really, really important to know, and prioritize that because if you control information, you control the, the pace in the future and probably the outcome of conflict. Our folks need to grasp and, and understand that. So uh, we have surface warriors and we have a surface force type command that organizes, trains, and equips them. The same in aviation, the same in submarines, the same in expeditionary warfare. It just makes sense we do the same for information. We have a command that organizes, trains, and equips. And that's the information dominance force. 